congratulations Thank on you. having the first Latino powered film from end to end. How does that feel like? Oh my God, it feels so surreal right now. Um, it's a real blessing. I feel very proud right now, you know? Who would have ever thought? It's funny, even when we finished the script, it's like, when I was, when I was writing with Joe Carnahan, I was like, I don't think anybody's ever done this, right? You know, we, we it just, we could, we kind of, we had, we were pinching ourselves. Um, but it's a real honor. It's a real honor, man. Yeah. And then you have an all-star cast. I mean, how did that come about? I mean, how, how were you able to choose these people? I mean, you have George Lopez, you have um, Kate Castillo. You know, tell me the process in that. I think it was a combination of being the, I've been in the industry for 30 years. So building these relationships over the years and working with stars from, you know, God, uh, you know, Denzel Washington to Lou Diamond Phillips. Um, and, you know, part of this industry is, is relationships that you have. Um, the cast, the cast came about just of what I pictured in my mind as, as I was writing dialogue with, with Joe Carnahan and, um, and the narrative. Um, I just, I was blessed. I had this vision. It's like the moon's aligned. Everything kind of fell into place. Um, the first person that, that was that was cast was Amy Garcia, and I, I had directed Amy on an episode of Lucifer in Vancouver, and she's based off of my wife, uh, Vanessa. We had a conversation, we directed a scene, I said, that's her. And then from her, it just snowballed. She was able to get the script over to George Lopez. George read it, George gave me a call as I'm in. Every one of these characters it reminds me of my neighborhood and where I grew up, which we grew up in the same neighborhood. Uh, Raul Castillo was, was, was his name and image was given to me at CAA. And he reminded me of one of my homeboys that I grew up across the street. And then I met him in New York and we just... It's, it's a it's a, a love relationship that we have now, and just one after another. And these and a lot of these actors were people that I grew up with, watching Sal Lopez, Marco Rodriguez from, you know, the the Latino Theater Company, Nosotros Theater with Luis Valdez. So, it's it's just it just fell into place. I think getting them all was just the love of the story. They were just in love and wanted to honor the story. So, um, it's really blessed, man. And you were able to turn a personal tragedy into such. Uh, into a beautiful story, you know. Um, you said you had help along the way. I mean, how were you able to have a tragedy like that and turn it around? It was, it was, uh, it was a therapeutic moment. I mean, when when my brother died of gang violence 12 years ago, I, I, uh, and because I'd already spent time in the business, I started just writing more of a memoir about his life and how to deal with it. it was, it was, it was therapy for me and how my mother was dealing with my brothers and sisters, and. Um, and it was hard. There was times that, like, as, as, as the story started developing, I started creating it into script form. And, um, and every time I was off of work, I'd go back to it. But it was, it was a fight. You had to fight the good fight. You know, every time you'd sit down and start writing pages, it was very emotional. I miss them every day. I think about them every day. And during that process, as we were getting close, as I was getting close to finishing my, my, first, uh, 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 um, my first pass on the script, we had another tragedy and we lost our daughter. And Joe, being my best friend, said, hey, man, as much as you've dedicated it, as much as you've dedicated this to your brother, it's time to de get dedicated to your daughter. Went to New York, wrote 185 pages, the good, the bad, the ugly, brought it back. Joe and I dissected it, got it down to 125. And, and it's just, it's unfortunate all these tragedies are happening, but it's like in the midst of all this, then I lose my mother a few days before prep who was a big fan of the script. So I have like these three guardian angels, but it was tough. I just kept thinking about my family and the love, you know, and how important it was to me. And it was important to tell this story. And hopefully it reaches and touches other, other kids, you know, in the community. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your time. What a beautiful story. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching the premiere of El Chicano. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and check out the videos to my left.